downhill to a green where the flag's quite cut to the back edge of the green, okay, so it's very fast. So the thing, I, the thing about this type of year, time of year is the rough's really thick, okay, and people struggle with getting the club head through the golf ball, okay, so this is, this is my best tip that I can offer for you to improve your shots out of the rough, okay. So I see too many golfers who they sit up into a position where they cannot get the club head down low enough to hit the golf ball, okay, so the club head is working up the way too quickly, so we want the club to work down the way slightly. If I was to get into a position where I was to tuck that right elbow right into my rib cage, okay, what happens from there is it creates a little bit of tilt in my shoulders, okay, and the tilt in my shoulders encourages the club to work up the way too early, okay, and it's very hard for me to get that cut across action where I want the ball to elevate in the air, okay, so too many golfers who get this right elbow tucked too far behind them, if they get the elbow tucked too far behind them, it's very hard to actually release the club. If I release the club from there, club face is way open okay so what you need to do is soften up this right elbow okay if you soften up this right elbow it's much easier for the hands to work to the left of the golf ball and create that descending action that we want okay and the hands exit left but remember to keep it nice and soft so keep almost tuck that right elbow out in front of you so where you can actually see it if you tuck it behind you from there the club's going to hit the ground before the ball we're going to top it it's almost in this action so we get there body weight stays all the way back okay so what we want to do is feel like this stays more in front of us feel like the right arm is more bent okay instead of straight because if it's straight then it works up too early feel like it's a lot bent so if it's bent and nice and relaxed it's really important we grip the club really lightly okay and then get this right elbow in front if we get this right elbow in front the hands work left if the hands work left then we've got a chance of releasing the club properly for such a short shot. If we go behind it, we create that tilt, and the tilt on the shoulders, the weight stays in the back foot, the left shoulder gets higher on the right shoulder. From there, everything works up the way, okay? But we want to work the club working down the way for a more descending action, okay? So even set with your, set up with your feet slightly more left, okay? So right toe in front of your left toe, left toe in the middle of your right foot, okay? Right elbow has to remain out in front, so feel like you're cutting across it, feel like you're following the line of your feet, okay? And then from there, you're going from right pocket to left pocket, okay? And feel that like the hands stay inside, outside the golf ball on the way out, and inside on the way through, okay? Then from there, it's a lot easier for me to keep the club face open in this position, where the heel of the club is higher than the toe, because it's in an open position, okay? So the rough's really thick, so it's really important we accelerate the hands to the left, okay? And we're going to create a bit of force if we keep this um, right elbow soft, okay? So nice and... Okay, let's try this. The rough's very thick at the moment, so it's important that you have a slightly shorter backswing than normal, a slightly longer fall through, okay? Do not disturb momentum. If we disturb that, so if we take the club along back and start decelerating, then it's not going to have a, a great a consistency. So... Take the club back, the right elbow should always stay in the right hand side of your body, okay? We don't want the right elbow to tuck behind you, because that's where it's going to get stuck to your rib cage. it's very hard to actually release the club, okay? So more outside, feel like the right elbow is more outside, then feel like the hands exit to the left, okay? So feel like the hands always work inside the ball. If we if we do that, where the hands get high, then we're creating a lot of, a, lot of, a, a negative shaft lean, okay? So where the hand, the hand looks back, from there we're going to create a lot of loft, a lot of thin shots, okay? And the club face being miles open. So think about the, the shaft staying lower on the way through to the left. So elbow has to stay soft, hands have to exit left. But you have to keep the loft on the club as well. So if you've got any thoughts in that video regarding pitching, chipping, any short game, make sure you comment below. And if you find my tips helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel at Jamie Allen Golf. If you want me to discuss any future topics, comment below or any other changes to my channel that I need to implement to improve or increase views. Okay, so make sure you like the video and share the video around YouTube and thank you.